Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I just want to show you some of the more subtle features within Mountain Lion. So let's get straight into it. In Safari now you'll notice the actual address bar is also the search bar now. So you can basically type in a URL in here or the actual keyword you want to search for in Google. Um, combining it is, is very similar to what you see in Google Chrome. I'm not sure if I like it, it's taking a bit to get used to just because I'm used to how it was before. Also we've got the share sheets button now so we can quickly share and web pages within Safari. We can use it Twitter if we wish. As you can see, I've got Twitter set up. Um, also, they've changed the tabs now. I don't know if you noticed, but the tabs seem to take up more room in the tab bar. So there's been a few changes in Mail. Now we've got VIP inbox, which basically is your most important emails will go into that that inbox, and just all your other emails will be in the in inbox, the normal inbox, I should say. Um, very similar to priority um, emails in Gmail. Also, we've got smart mailboxes now, so you can basically customize your own like rules if you wish. Very similar again to Gmail. So I think it's really good we're seeing some more of these advanced features coming to mail. It's making mail a lot more powerful. Maybe one day it can rival Outlook. So they've made a slight change to Launchpad. Now there's actually a search box at the top. So if you want to search through your apps, um, quite useful if you've got a lot of apps, I guess. Um, but I personally just use Spotlight. A few other things I've noticed. They now no longer call the OS Mac OS X. They're just going to call it OS 10 from now on. Quite interesting. Also, if you want to go and run an update, software update, check for software updates, it now will launch the Mac App Store and check for updates. Apple has now dropped iChat, so you no longer can use the application within Mountain Lion. Uh, messages, obviously, it takes over from that um, application. And um, if we go into the account settings for Messenger, you can obviously add iMessenger accounts. But also, you can add AIM accounts and Google Talk accounts and Yahoo accounts. So that's cool that you can still use them services within Messengers. So in the preference pane, there's been quite a few changes. Um, one of the more notable ones is obviously now we've got notifications. If you want to see notifications, that's what they look like now in the Mac. Um, you just swipe to the right and to the left to bring it on screen. Um, obviously, within this menu, we can change how notifications appear. If we get alerts or if we get a banner or if we get no notifications, we can tweak all the applications. Um, another one I noticed which was a change in mail, contact and calendars. We've now got a lot more services we can add. I think Twitter obviously being a new one, Flickr, Vimeo uh, and some other ones, mainly email ones. So that's good. More integration into them services within Mac OS X. Now in Quick Look we have an extra button. So if I Quick Look in this folder, we can actually now share the folder or the picture, whatever it may be, and um, obviously through services like email, Twitter again, and um, the message app, Flickr, and so on. So that was just some of the minor changes within Mountain Line I've noticed so far. Um, overall, I'm pretty quite happy with Mountain Line. I think once Apple iron out some of the creases, it'll be a really good um, update. So, what is your favourite new Mountain Line feature? Please comment below. Um, thanks for watching this video everyone. If you did like it then please like and subscribe because it's always appreciated. Also if you wish you can follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.